is renewed tension in the Ibarapa North local government area of Oyo State. Following the alleged takeover of two villages by some headsmen. The two villages, Kajola and Baba Idere, are located in Ayete local government area of the state. Residents of the Ayete ta town said that a Fulani headsman, Iskilu Walik or Wakil, was asked to leave the villages because he did not buy the land he was occupying. This was said to have infuriated the header who claimed he was a combatant soldier with arms and ammunition. The Asawo of Ayete, Oba Emmanuel Okeniyi, said those who have farms in the villages have fled the places over fear they might be attacked by Wakil. Oba Okeniyi said they asked him to leave the area. I don't think he brought the land from anybody and the owners of the land asked him to leave. But rather than leaving, he has become a terror. The Fulani there usually destroy their farms. The farmers in the villages have fled their places. They are just loafing about now. The government of the state has deployed Amoteko personnel to the Ayete. They came in yesterday, but I haven't heard that they have gone to those villages yet. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning these particular news stories? It's is sad and unfortunate. These are the same Fulani headsmen that, you know, the country has been talking about for the past few weeks. Now they have attacked another villages in the southwest and taken over the villages from the people of the community, saying that they are not leaving those villages. This is really, really surprising and saddening. How can Fulani headsmen come from another part of the world into another man's land and is claiming ownership of the land and claiming that they will not leave? From what is being said, or that's from the reports that is being um, circulated, it is not as if they bought the land. If they had bought the land, it would have been a different story entirely. But from the reports, they did not buy the land. So it beats the imagination of one how Fulani headsmen can come into another man's land from another country and begin to terrorize the people and begin to uh, make claims that they would not leave the place, the land, the community because they own the land. The land that they did not buy or pay for so you can see where this situation is degenerating to, and um, they, this might not just be the end of this Fulani headsman issue of attacking people, communities, farmers, and claiming their villages. We might not just have seen the end of this particular crisis, as there probably will still be more of this particular issue if care is not taken. It is sad and unfortunate. In another news, as nationwide discussions continue following the eviction order by the Ondo State Governor, Rotimi Akeridolu, to Fulani headsmen to leave the state's forests, prominent pro Fulani voices and former Executive Secretary of the, of the National Health Insurance Scheme, Professor Usman Yusuf, has said, no governor has the power to evict other ethnic groups from his state. And that the problem will continue until Ruga is created all over the country to settle Fulani headsmen. In an interview that was monitored, the professor of medicine argued that if Sabongeri towns could be created for Igbo and others, in every part of the north. 
Nothing stops the creation of Ruga for the headsmen in all the states of the Federation. So this is another, you see, these are the people that are foiling this crisis and are given this full and headsmen the um, impetus, the giving them the, uh, the, the mindset, the power to be resisting, you know, vacation order given to them across the country. The president is from their clan and they will always tell you that there's nothing you can do to them. So how do you expect that governors must build Ruga settlement for Fulani headsmen across the states? Is it the governor, government's business? Saying that the, the northerners built Sabungeri towns, like seriously, or markets? Is it, not, is it only the Igbos that are occupying their markets? The markets that you see Igbos sell, their stores, is it only the Igbos that are, are accommodating the markets? Of course, this, is, this defies logic, if you ask me. This is not what we should be talking about. But because of the myopic reasoning of some of these um, northerners, they truly will not state the fact or tell the truth. They would not say things the way they ought to say it, knowing that their voices are being heard across the world and people are following what they are saying. How can you go to another man's land and you ask the government to build um, a settlement for you in another man's land? If you want to settle there, then you buy the land, you lease the land, then do whatever you want to do there for the period of time and for the purpose that you have bought the land just like every other southerner does in the northern part of the country. Have you seen any northerner who is occupying a place that he or she did not pay for or buy or rent or lease as the case may be? Of course that is not the case. When you go to the north and you see northerners occupying a particular spot, if they have not bought it, they paid for it, for rent. And that is how they live, do their businesses until they can acquire land then they go ahead and acquire and you know that the land belongs to them so you cannot come to another man's land and claim that the land belongs to you because only for the sole reason that you have occupied the land for more than a year or for like two years three years four years five years six years seven eight nine ten years of course that is not the statutory um, reason or procedure to make claims and ownership or take ownership of a land the government must wake up and take necessary steps to address this issue or else we are just um, you know rubbing it on the surface and by the time it explodes it's going to explode in our faces and everybody is going to bear the brunt of it well guys this is my thoughts and my opinion drop by at the comment section let us know what your thoughts are don't forget to subscribe to this channel kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.